Hey friends, today we're doing a cooking clean with me. Don't ask me why I waited till 11 o'clock p.m. to start cooking, y'all. I am out of my mind. <laughs> so today we are making beef and broccoli. I am using a teaspoon of ginger and a teaspoon of garlic powder, three tablespoons of brown sugar, one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch, a half cup of hot water, six tablespoons of soy sauce, and two tablespoons of sesame oil. Oh, and some pepper. You wanna dash a little bit of pepper in there. This is the stir fry sauce. I'm going to mix it all together. If you wanna start making your rice before getting to this part, you can, because you know, rice takes a little bit longer to cook, but I, you'll see in this video, I, I was over it and I waited to cook my rice the next morning. So you're gonna combine all the stir fry sauce ingredients in a bowl, you stir it very well. You wanna make sure you dissolve the sugar and you just put it to the side. So I bought two heads of broccoli that I'm cutting up now. So next you wanna use a large skillet, put it over medium heat, add one tablespoon of oil. I just eyeballed it here. You're gonna add your broccoli florets that you just cut up. You wanna stir it and toss it a couple times and then cover with the lid partially. You wanna do this until the broccoli is bright green and crisp tender. And you can remove from the pan. I did not remove from the pan, but you can if you wanna only use one pan. So I opted to use another pan for my meat. So I bought the Angus beef top sirloin. This is my first time making beef and broccoli, so I actually asked the guy behind the meat counter which meat they suggested that I use for this. You want to cook that until it is cooked through to your liking. Then you wanna add the stir fry sauce that we just made and reduce the heat to medium low. And you let that simmer for three to four minutes and you'll see that the sauce starts to thicken. If it's too thick for your liking, you can always add water to make it a little bit thinner. I also added a little bit of minced garlic into the sauce to give it some more flavor. When I was done cooking the beef and broccoli, it was almost 12 o'clock and I was kind of over it. So this is not normal for me, but I left the dishes in the sink tonight because I was so tired, y'all. So you see me trying to wipe the counters because I do, I will always do that, wipe the counters off. I don't want no ants or whatever bugs crawling in my kitchen. So I wiped the counter off and I took all of the bowls and things and um, put them in the sink. And then I try to tidy up my living room area because I lost the remote. And what do you know, it's right under the cushion. It was tucked in there real good. And that's why I couldn't find it when I was like, blindly putting my hand down there. Goodness, I feel like it's caught under here. I don't even know how to get this thing out. Twelve o'clock midnight. Y'all, I cannot get a break. I started doing laundry earlier, and this is how I left my bed. I have clothes to fold tonight. Great. <laughs> it says nine. Something nine foot. Oh, I was thinking nine inches. <laughs> well, this is a long one. I would have definitely been fine with the three. Oh my God, the three one was only $5. Well, this is the USB-C cable. So now that I can use my lightning charger to charge my phone. The next day. So in the morning, I like to open the curtains a little bit to get some sunlight coming in and then I also turn the lights on but I love good natural sunlight and then I 
continue cleaning up the kitchen that I was not about to do last night. So I clear off the counter. I got some candy from church on Sunday. And then I start putting away the dishes that were in the dishwasher. And then I'll start the rice. So this is a step that I say you can do before making the beef and broccoli, but I, I didn't feel like doing it. I was not up to it last night. So starting the rice, I usually do a two to one water to rice ratio. And I let that sit on the stove for about 20 minutes or until y'all know when rice looks cooked, it gets fluffy and you don't see any more water. I asked Alexa to set a 20 minute timer and then while I was doing that, I wanted to wash my dishes that I left in the sink last night. So here we are. I'm just washing my dishes and then I'm checking on the rice. Oh, I forgot to put seasoning in it. So I'm putting pepper and I think garlic salt on it since I'm eating it with beef and broccoli. So go back to washing the dishes and I just felt a lot better after washing my dishes and getting my kitchen clean. I just wanted to show a realistic cook and clean with me because sometimes you don't feel like staying up to clean the dishes. Sometimes you run the dishwasher. I don't particularly like running the dishwasher. I rather wash the dishes by hand, especially if I don't have a lot of dishes. But I was just not feeling it that night and that's okay. Sometimes you just have to leave them in the sink. I don't make it a habit, but sometimes it's just, it's necessary. <laughs> So I hope this um, helps someone. You know, it doesn't always have to be perfect. Sometimes life happens. You get tired. You want to do it, but you can't. Sleep is important to me, so I need to get my sleep. Now I'm just packing my lunch for the day and when I pack my lunch I pack breakfast too because I usually wake up too late to actually eat breakfast at home. So I take my cereal on the go this day I am eating frosted flakes and I have these little mini bottles, reusable bottles that I got from Amazon. They are so cute 
and I use them every single day. I have my milk in one and the orange juice in the other, and it's perfect. I like to pack snacks too, so I have Skinny Pop this day, some fruit snacks, and fruit. Oh, and some donut holes that I got yesterday. If you haven't checked out my grocery store haul, go ahead and check that one out. That was my first video, so y'all be nice. <laughs> And then I do the last bit of cleaning up and then I am going upstairs to go change my clothes for work. This is my outfit and I am ready to go. I'm gonna blow out the candle and put my laptop up and then I'm off to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this cook and clean with me video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until the next one, I'll see you later, bye.